There's a bit of a silver lining to the pandemic. New calculations show the world's greenhouse gas emissions dropped substantially in 2020. The Global Carbon Project says 34 billion metric tons have been put into the air this year. That's nearly 2.5 billion less than in 2019. It works out to a 7% drop, the biggest ever recorded. Scientists say the reduction is mainly because people are staying home, traveling less by car and plane. Emissions are expected to jump back up after the pandemic. There's no vaccine to protect the world from pollution. That's why the Canadian government is unveiling new measures aimed at reducing our country's greenhouse gas emissions. Eric Sorensen has more on the new climate change commitments and the potential impact on taxpayers. On a December day, about five degrees warmer than average in southern Ontario, the Prime Minister announced a $15 billion plan to slow down global warming and exceed all previous commitments to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The big item, the price on carbon will keep climbing, on top of the current plan of $50 a tonne by 2022, an additional $15 a year to $170 a tonne by 2030. At the gas pump alone, it will add more than 27 cents a litre over those eight years. The revenue will be turned into rebates for taxpayers, but the aim is clear, to push Canadians and businesses off fossil fuels. And the message? to businesses, to investors, to Canadians and to the world, that Canada is serious, not just about fighting climate change, but about the tremendous economic opportunities that will come with moving towards a cleaner future. The Prime Minister is counting on the Supreme Court to turn back challenges from some Conservative-led provinces. Ontario's Premier says higher fuel prices will make the country uncompetitive. I'm a strong believer of protecting the environment. But you don't have to protect the environment on the backs of the hardworking people of this province and this country. I've never, ever, ever been more disappointed in announcement ever. Ottawa will also invest in cleaner transportation, electric vehicles and infrastructure. It will spur Canadians to make their homes energy efficient and spend millions to help heavy industry reduce their emissions. The plan comes one day before the fifth anniversary of the Paris Climate Agreement. Under that agreement, Ottawa promised to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 30% below 2005 levels by the year 2030. But Canada was only on track to come in 19% below. The new plan now aims for 32% and as much as 40 if provinces get on board. Governments across the country are going to have to put a lot more money on the table to get the transfer transformative action that we need. Canadians need to start seeing themselves and their communities as prospering from that clean economy. More global investors are shifting to a green economy and this country, says the Prime Minister, must get ahead or will fall behind. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto. European leaders have also agreed to tougher 2030 climate goals. The European Union's 27 member states have approved a plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55 percent by 2030. That's up from the current 40 percent target. The EU hopes the tougher measures will help it reach climate neutrality by 2050.